I have a problem with ketchup. But before we get to that, I have a slight problem with some other things first. First up, oh. the cheese challenge. Now folks, I love an internet challenge. I really do. But this, the just tossing cheese onto an unsuspecting child. Oh. It's absolutely real. Look it up. It's just, we're better than this. Let me ask this. Uh, what happened to things like the mannequin challenge? Where everyone just kind of stands still and we're all like, damn, that's, that's pretty cool. Where are challenges like that? I want more of those. Because right now, <laughs> we're throwing cheese on babies. You got your cheese and it just goes right on the baby's face. <laughs> and uh, doesn't stop there. You got your people throwing cheese on the dogs. We got people throwing cheese on the cats. We got people, someone probably threw cheese on their grandma. Honestly, I, I don't think I fault the person who started this. Was it funny the first time? I'm actually not sure. But we don't all have to see that and then do it. Just let some things be. We can just appreciate things from afar. And then wait for a challenge that doesn't involve... Confuse the less smart creature by throwing cheese on their face. <laughs> okay, trailers before trailers. I'm not relaxed. This one actually has me really heated. Am I the only one who's noticed this? Before a new movie trailer plays, there is a preview of what the full preview will be. It'll be like that movie noise that we all know, the main character like jumping out of a helicopter and then the day it comes out. Then the regular trailer starts. Are we so busy that we need to watch a thing that makes us want to watch the longer thing that makes us want to watch the longest thing? If you haven't noticed this yet, you will now. You know what I want to know? I want to know right now! Who is the person about to watch the new uh, Mission Impossible trailer and thinks, Whoa, 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 whoa! I don't know if I have uh, a minute and 45 seconds to watch this. Can I see a trailer for the trailer? We are not that busy. <laughs> I'm sweating. Okay, thank you for sticking with me. We've done it. We made it. Catch up. I have a problem with it. The problem is... I don't like it. Now before you uh, jump down my throat, uh, scream in my face, kick me in the teeth, everybody chill. Let me explain. Uh, the other day in a casual conversation, uh, I mentioned that I don't like ketchup. Almost immediately, everyone around. What, you don't like ketchup? How could you? What is wrong with you? And I don't think that's right. But the thing is, it gets worse. You know, I feel all backed into a corner, so I lash out. I get nasty. I come for ketchup. Uh, let's take that again. I take shots at ketchup. I say things like, it's not good, it's too sweet. Everything that it's on uh, only tastes like ketchup. It stains everything, it's got a, a funky smell, it isn't tomatoes, and it's just flat out overrated. But listen, I don't mean those things, not all of them. Then the people who snapped at me in the first place get even more freaked out, and uh, uh, here we are. There aren't many of us, but there certainly are some of us who just don't like ketchup, and that's it. Let's just let it be that. I'm not here to convince you not to like ketchup. Go ahead, drink it for all I care. But also, uh, don't try to destroy me. You don't like ketchup? Everybody chill. I guess my issue is that ketchup is tearing us apart. I'm allowed to not like ketchup. You're allowed to like ketchup. I just needed to uh, get it out there. I promise to stop coming for ketchup. I promise to be less defensive about not liking ketchup if you promise to not freak out when I tell you I don't like ketchup. However, if you put ketchup all over an order of fries, so help me God.